hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create the navbar using react and react bootstrap as well as react router dom so basically i will be creating this kind of application where you can just click on this home to see the home component and if i just click on about so this will show the about me component and if i just click on contact so this will show the contact component here and this is also the responsive as well so if i just click here and if i just click on about so you can see so this is navigating to the respective component so i will be creating this application from scratch let's get started so let me just open the vs code here so let me just type visual studio code and let me just open the terminal from here and let me navigate to the desktop and just type npx create react app and just give some name like router demo and just click enter to create the react application so once the react application has been created let me just go into the file and let me just open the folder and just go to the desktop here and open my react application and let me again open the terminal and just type npm start to start the application so the application has been started so let me just go into the vs code again and let me just go into the app.js and let me just clear this content from here so let me just clear the header and here we just need to clear this logo as well so we don't need logo anymore and if i just save my application and let me just write something like demo so you can see the demo is displaying here so once you do that let me just go into the browser and search for react bootstrap and just go to this first link from react bootstrap and just click on this get started so here you can see the installation instructions so just copy this and let me just go into here and just click on plus here and let me just type command v to paste that command so here you can see the react bootstrap has been installed so once the react bootstrap has been installed so we just need to import the css as well so we just need to import this following line from here so just copy this line and just go into this index.js and just paste it down here so let me just paste it here and save the application and once you do that let me just search for navbar so just search for navbar and let me just go into here and down here you can see all the available navbars from here so let me just go down here and let me just choose this one so let me just copy this from here and let me just go into this app.js and let me just paste it inside here so let me paste inside here and if i just save my application and let me just go into this react app so you can see lots of error here so to fix this error we just have to import this navbar and other components from here so let me just import one by one from here so just type import and just type navbar from react bootstrap and other component we are using here is nav and we just need to import the container and if i now just save my application so you can see it has already been loaded here so we don't need these two here just clear this content from here and also this one as well and if i again save my application so you can see the navbar here so navbar has been loaded so we just need to change this from here so i just want to change this into something like about and also the contact so once you do that we just need to add the react router as well so for that i just want to go for here and search for react router and just type overview and just go to this first link from reactrouter.com and just click on this overview so you can see the installation instruction here so just copy this and let me just paste into here so let me just paste here and just click enter 
So if I just go to this package suggestion here, so you can see the React Router DOM has been successfully in installed into our React application. So to use this, we can just import this from here. So let me just copy everything from here and let me just paste into the app.js. So let me just paste it here. So once you do that, we just need to add the routes here. So for that, we just need to clear this as a ref from here and just type as and just type link here. So just type link and just type to and we just need to give the path here. So basically it's a route. So we will be using later on the route. So also we just need to import here as well. So let me just type link here and just go down here and again just type the same thing here just type link and just type two so you can give something like about and just do the same thing for contact as well so just type as and just type link and you just need to type two and just give the path something like contact so once you do that, we just need to add the routes here. So just go down here and just add one more div here. So let me call it something like div here and just type routes. So which is basically coming from React Router DOM and we just need to add the component here. So for that, just type route and path. So you can give the path name here. So we have given the about here so we just need to give the same path here as well so let me just type about and just type element so here inside element we just need to add the component here we are using whenever we are going to the about component so for that let me just create one more component here so let me just create one folder here and just type components so basically we will be creating all the components inside here and inside here let me just create one component let me call it about the js and just type rafc to create the arrow function component and inside here i can give something like this is about me or something like that you can just just write any text here and we want to use this about component inside this about path so whenever i'm trying to click the about from here so if i just click on this about this will show the content of this about the js so for that let me just go here and just type about and just click enter and just write this so it will automatically import here so if you are not able to see this automatic import so you just need to write this line so similarly we can just do same thing for home and contact as well so let me just type path and just type contact and just type element so inside here i just want to add one more component so let me call it contact and just give this and again inside the component let me create the contact component here and just type rafc to create the arrow function component and inside here i just need to give something like this is my contact section or you can give anything or you can write anything here and once you do that let me just go into the app.js and i just need to import it here as well so let me just type import contact from component slash contact so once you do that again just create one more component so let me call it home.js and again just type rafc to create the arrow function component and inside here let me write something like this is home component and again go to the app.js and import the home just type home and just type from component slash home 
so once you do that let me just go here and use that home component here so just type a route and just type path and just type slash only so here you can see we have just given the slash only so just type slash and just type element so inside here i just want to use the home component so just write that so once you do that we just need to wrap the whole application with the browser router so for that just go here and just type browser router and let me just cut this one from here and let me just go and just paste just below the div here so again let me just save my application so if i just go here and if i just click on about component so you can see this is about me so if i just click on contact so you can see this is my contact section and if i just click on home so you can see this is the home component so this is how you basically create the Neva using the react bootstrap and react router dom thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel